Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create a ASP.NET web form project by using Visual Studio 2022. Okay, so now let's get started. Open Visual Studio 2022 on your window PC. On this pop-up, you take a look into the right hand side. We have the Get Started section. Click on the Create a New Project option. On this window, you can do filter here. I'm going to select the language is C -Sap. The platform is Window. And for the project type, I will select it in Web. Because we are going to create a project for Web form, so it should be Web. Okay, and you scroll it down. You take a look into a template, ASP.NET Web Application .NET Framework. Select this option, and then click on Next button. On this step, you can change the project name. By default, it will be Web Application, and then the number. So here, I will name this one a my first ASP.NET web form. Yeah. And then you can also change the location to set the shortcode for the project. I will keep this one by default. The solution name, you can also change this one. Yeah. And .NET framework. You can select another version of the .NET framework. I will keep it by default. Click on Create button. On this window, you see here, we have some options. MT, Web Form, MVC, Web API, Single Page Application. Because we are going to create a Web Forms show, I will select the second option. Web form. When I select the web form, you see here on the right hand side, I have the app folder and call references. It will automatically select the option the web form for me here. In case if you want to create an MVC website option, you can select this one, the third option, and then in the app folder and call reference will be select the MVC option here accordingly. Okay, let's come back to the second option for web form. In the advanced mode here, we have the configure for HTTPS. I will keep it by default. And then I will click on the create button. Microsoft Visual Studio will help me to create the project web form for me. Yeah, and the first page here you see is an overview. You can take a look into some of the article here in the overview page. Okay, let me close this one. And then you take a look into the right hand side in the solution explorer. This is the solution. Yeah, the solution of our web page. We have some of the folder. App data, app start, content, phone, script, yeah, and other web pages about .aspx, yeah, bundle, contact, default, this is default page, yeah, okay, and here, let me click on the IIS Express on the menu to run this website first. Click on yes. You can also check into the checkbox. Don't ask me again. This question will be disappear in the next time. Yes. It will open the website in the local hot and we have a default post. E4436. And this post will be different on the window PC. Yeah. Okay. So this one is the default template for ASP.NET web form.
we have the menu on the top, the main body, and the footer. Yeah. Click on this is the home and click on about page. It will direct me to the about page here. Just some text and contact your home. Okay. So now I will try to update some text on the home page. Yeah. The home page, it will be the default .aspx. Yeah. I will get this hello message. I will have hello message from Chien Okay. Run it again. Okay. And you see here, we have the hello message from Chien Viet have been updated. Okay, cool. All right. So I think that's all. You can buy on this video to create offer ASP.NET web form project. And then after you know how to create the project, you can go ahead to update the code here for the purpose. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye bye.